Hey guys, so bear with me just for a minute here. Uh, this company called Bandai in Japan, which you may have heard of, huge uh, you know, anime toy company in Japan. Uh, they are responsible for a bunch of different uh, big anime franchises. And they released, recently released their numbers, uh, projected revenue for the next year and uh, revenue they've gotten this year and so forth, uh, broken down by franchise. And I thought this was really interesting because it kind of gives you an idea of how popular different franchises are, especially relative to each other over in Japan. Now, it's just for Bandai, so it's not you know giving not everything over there, but uh, it still gives you a, a gives us a really good good feel for um, uh, how popular things are by certain uh, you know for, for that slice. So starting with their big one is Bubble Suit Gundam. They expect to to get in about half a billion dollars next year from Bubble Suit Gundam because they got in. Just under half a billion dollars in 2011, and close to that in 2010. Yeah, Gundam's really, really huge. This is it's one of the reasons why I talk about Gundam a lot because it's one of the biggest franchises in in, in Japan. Uh, next biggest is Common Rider, which is a series of live action TV series, um, which should bring in about 326 million dollars and about a third of a billion dollars. Uh, next year, uh, which is a bit of a downer from the 338 million they, they made previous year, um, but still doing extremely well. Followed by One Piece, which uh, will bring in about a quarter of a billion dollars next year. This is interesting, though. Um, made about 200 million dollars this year and made only 55 the previous. So this is just rocketing up the charts, making uh, you know huge amounts of money um, uh, year by year and, and just growing tremendously. Next biggest is the Power Rangers or Super Sentai series, you know, the color-coded uh, teenagers fighting crime kind of thing, or, or fighting an, an alien from space. Um, this is a huge thing in Japan, as you can see, quarter of a billion dollars from that, although didn't do very well uh, previous years. Maybe there's a new series premiering, something like that. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, still, again, huge powerhouse um, you know, relative to other things. And then uh, next one is Pretty Cure. Which will make an, about 141 million dollars next year compared to 71 the year before. So 100% revenue increase is pretty darn impressive. Um, they then broke down. They've obviously got others, um, but they then broke down things by just toy revenue. So here is uh, 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 just just how much they plan to make, expect to make from each franchise by uh, uh, just in 2012. Common Rider being the big one, actually, uh, followed by Gundam, and this is actually good for something like Gundam because Gundam gets makes money in a lot of different ways: uh, DVD and Blu-ray sales, model kits and toys in this case, um, you know, character goods, uh, all sorts of other things that they can make money off of for this uh, for this franchise. Gundam's actually diversified, which is good. Followed by Super Sentai, 153, then Pretty Cure, 128 million dollars. Good to see a, a solid producing shoujo series. Then Anpan Man, which you may not have heard of, but this, this gives you an idea of how big that is in Japan. Then One Piece, followed by Battle Spirits, Tamagotchi, and Dragon Ball at, um, at $38 million. And of course, there are others down the list, but those are the, you know, the, the big ones. So that will hopefully give you some idea of actual numbers and actual popularity of things over there in Japan right now. Uh, you know, Dragon Ball is big, but it's certainly not as big as a lot of other things over there. And just kind of give you a feel. Uh, also note how many of th these things are definitely shonen. So yeah give you a feel. So anyway, so that's just what I wanted to let you know. And uh, thanks for watching.